Hey guys, welcome back to Monet Loves Glam. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created my glam coffee bar. So first, um, I'm just going to get started by cleaning up the area. As you can see, I am using, I want to say it's Meyer Lemon Spray, something that all-purpose cleaner. And it's something that I picked up from like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. But I really like the way it cleans and I really like the way it smells. As you all can see from the backdrop, I don't have a lot of under cabinet spacing because I opted to actually have a lot of windows going around my whole kitchen. Um, so I have a very limited amount of space to work in, but I still wanted to create this glam coffee bar. So first you can see that I'm starting with this beautiful glass and gold metal tray that I picked up from Home Goods, and I just decided to be a little extra and go ahead and add my Keurig coffee maker inside of there just for a little added glam. Next I'm going to go in, as you can see, um, that's the little tray that catches all the liquids when it falls out. But now I'm actually going to go in with this beautiful marble and gold tray. I believe I got this from Macy's.com um, around Christmas time when they were having their really big sales. I really, really fell in love with the gold handles on here. And my theme for my coffee bar is pretty much like a mixed metal with some gold, some silver, um, and also a little bit of cream and gold as you'll see a little later on in the video. So first, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my canister. These are some Michael Aram canisters that I also purchased off Macy's.com. I absolutely fell in love with these can canisters. They are really, really pretty in person. So I just filled the larger one with my pods or K-cups. The next one is a smaller one. I think this is a small version. And I just have that filled with some tea bags. And then the medium one, I'm going to go ahead and I keep my ground coffee in here. I mean, and these canisters are great because it actually keeps everything really fresh in there. I uh, really love these canisters. I think, I don't I think they're part of the, like, the Ginkoba Butterfly Collection is what this collection was called. Next, I'm going in with this. It's considered a jam jar. Y'all, it took me forever to find this, almost six months because they were sold out everywhere. And one of my people that I subscribe to on YouTube, like, sent the notification they were back in stock. So I actually went online. I got mine from Amazon and purchased two of them. And I just keep my sugar in there. I think it is so pretty. And then you saw me lay down a candle. That's a Michael Aram candle. And then I have a French press. Sometimes I just like to do the coffee in the French press um, instead of the Keurig. It just depends on what type of coffee or drink I'm having that day. So next I'm going to go ahead and put up this little coffee sign. Made this sign super easy to make. I just, you know, printed it off of my printer, um, picked a font, and put it inside of this picture frame, really inexpensive frame. Next, I'm going to go ahead and place down this two-tier marble cake stand, but I'm actually going to use it to put my coffee mugs on. I think I picked this up at Home Goods uh, a little while back, and maybe it was about $24.99. I am in love with coffee mugs, with the sayings, that one be a gold digger is so inspirational to me. Best day ever, and then I just really like the little gold zebra stripes on that coffee mug. And in here, I actually have like the honey spoons that you can mix your tea, and then like your hot chocolate and marshmallow uh, stirs to put in, you know, any hot beverages that you may have. So I like to keep those back there. And then I also picked up these really cute cream and gold color mugs a little while back from Home Goods. Now something interesting that I found is these little cute gold spoons. They're actually plastic and they came in a pack of about like 20 for, I want to say $4.99. Um, and I thought they were so cute and I just kind of add them to the coffee mug so you'll have your little spoon to stir when you're ready to drink. 
and that is it you guys so I'm just gonna pan a little bit so you can get a good view of how I set up my coffee bar I think this is perfect um, if you have a small space as I do like I said before you know it's a trade-off uh, at your house when you're building and like I said I opted to actually have the windows back there so I really don't have a lot of under cabinet space um, or backsplash guys thanks so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video see you next time bye